Well, Apple may be getting ready to sell a premium TV bundle. TechSet Recode says that Apple has talked to HBO, Showtime, and Stars about a combined package that it would sell. Cable companies usually require consumers to subscribe to a basic level of TV channels before you can add, of course, the premium stuff. Well, Apple could sell the package as a standalone product, especially with Apple TV, which only requires an internet connection. Apple's already begun selling each of those premium channels individually, the stock of about 30% over the last year 14366 to close on Friday. Meanwhile, we are getting a close-up look at Apple's new massive campus. This drone footage shows Apple Park, the $5 billion complex in Cupertino, California, getting some of the final touches. Apple Park was the vision of co-founder Steve Jobs, who died in 2011. Later this year, they're going to open a thousand-seat auditorium, which has a metallic carbon roof, which will likely host all of the new product announcements. And to honor his memory, they're going to name that theater the Steve Jobs Theater. About 12,000 employees are going to be moving in in the next few weeks. It's big. Incredible. Thank you, Cheryl. You Thank you so much for that. As I haul my Apple phone, <laughs> 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 it's not broken. Michael's block's got a broken phone. More of that later. What do you think about the TV bundling? It's kind of a must do, isn't it? Yeah, they have to do it because you're seeing the, sh the shifts happening so far, so fast, where people are unbundling, right? The, the IoT, the basically everyone's consuming via streaming and that's why you're seeing unlimited plans also happen from the carriers because people are also streaming these type of networks on their devices when they're on the go. One thing I've noticed using the Amazon Fire which I use to kind of put all of my different TV viewing or content viewing apps together is that the Amazon interface, Amazon kind of takes a little bit of a back seat and they're kind of pushing everything at you to, to send the message. Like you can buy Showtime, for example, through Amazon and, and other pay channels. Apple's kind of playing catch up with this. The airplane catch up. The other thing that Amazon and Netflix are both doing is they have a, they have this original content that people are really going after and they're excited about. Even so, Hulu has original content. Sure. So if you're able to do that, how is Apple going to respond to that? Because I think that's become important. Netflix draws in viewers through shows like Orange is the New Black and shows like that. How 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 is Apple going to compete with that? I have Go. an idea. Okay. Apple can just buy Netflix. Ooh, you heard it here. I've, I've said that all along. The, if I was, if I had that amount of cash, I would just go buy a content provider. One of the right. biggest problems they didn't do is buy that minority stake in Hulu when it was up for sale a couple of years ago. I've been saying that for years. They should have gone in and bought the stake then when Hulu had that minority because it included all of the studios. Hulu needs work though in terms of up to better, um, more current content, right, better content searchable, yeah. pushing things at you that you like. Yep. Netflix, it doesn't get any better. Well, we're than talking that. about it. Yep, exactly. Coming up.